Hey there, Phoebe here from phoebefazio.com with a different kind of video today. Um, this is for the magical portal playtime, and I'm, one of my practices, one of my spiritual practices lately has been um, oracle cards. Yeah. So I have quite a few decks. Um, these are my four favorites right now. I did ask which deck I should use for this video. I was just gonna draw one card, but apparently I have to draw one from each deck. So what I'm gonna do is uh, draw, make this a quick video, draw one card from each, and then if you post in the comments, if you want to um, hear more about one of those or all of them, then I'll send you um, an email with the reading from the <laughs> from the book and other any other intuition uh, that I get from it. So uh, yeah, a little channeled message there. So probably many of you use Oracle cards. Um, I only recently started using them on a regular basis, and so um, you probably have your own way of shuffling the deck and. Um, yeah, so I just, I have my question in mind while I'm shuffling and then usually one card comes off or it's right on top, okay? And so, um, this one's jumping out and, um, for today I'm asking for the information for whoever is watching, um, during this portal, what do we need to know here? We're almost finished with the portal. And what's next for us? What do we most need to hear, to see, to understand, to know for this portal to be the highest expression, the most powerful energetic boost for us before we change to the new year as we complete this year is a powerful portal helping us see what is ahead for us and what it is that we want to maybe focus on um yeah and maybe you have your own questions that are being answered here today and we will see. Oh, that one just jumped out. Okay. So, um, these are the Archangel Oracle cards, Doreen Virtue, the uh, Mary Queen of Angels Oracle cards. I believe that's also Doreen Virtue. Yep. And also during virtue, uh, an oldie but a goodie, um, the healing with the angels oracle cards, and uh, my recent favorite here, the wisdom of the oracle, Colleen Baron Reed. Um, this one I like because it has different uh, categories for each card. So, like you, you have the mess, the essential meaning in the oracle message, and then you have a relationship message, and a prosperity message, and a protection message. So I really like. I like that that has that uh, in depth. Um, and they feel really good, they're really pretty. So let's see what we got here. So the archangels are saying crystal clear intentions. So the card says, Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Hmm. I have a good mudra for that if you want to play with unshakable faith, unwavering faith. You put your fingers together, interlace them like that, and then you can put that mudra on your chest, your heart, uh, or wherever you need it. So that's that's just a little mudra thing that you can might come in handy for unwavering faith. And again, you're gonna if you want more in depth, uh, just put your uh, just comment below the video. I'll put my email below the video in the description for those of you on, on YouTube. If you're getting this as an email, then just reply and let me know. I'll explain it in the email. Okay, so from Mary, Mother Mary says, feminine, 
I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. And this isn't just for women. Uh, we all have feminine and masculine sides of us. And um, so we're allowing this nature to come forward. Feminine. Yeah, and the healing with the angels card, self-acceptance, that's such a good one. Goes along with self-care, partly why we're doing our spiritual practices, really going inward, spending time with our, our true self and accepting ourself. And then the wisdom of the oracle says, go the distance. I love these, they have so much in them in these pictures, well, there you go. So go the distance. So tune into those. Sometimes you just get your messages, I'm sure you know. Sometimes you can just see the title and know exactly what they're talking about. Sometimes reading the books gives you a little bit more uh, and then you, you can journal on them. Um, I, I like doing them in the mornings and last night I tried doing it before bed and then I was all energized before before I went to sleep, I couldn't sleep. So um, yeah, I'd like to know how you use your oracle cards for yourself. Also, do you do them professionally? I don't use these um, professionally very much. Sometimes when I'm doing a custom sound washing, sometimes I get guided to, to pull a card or even a couple cards. So um, yeah, so oracle cards, thank you for being here. It's been really fun playing with you all. It's only a couple more days and um, yeah, don't forget to post below if you want any more details about any of these crystal clear intentions, feminine self-acceptance, go the distance. Sending you great blessings, love and light always. Thank you. Namaste.